before the spring, on average, a person in that area, a patch district, which we call the epicenter of malaria, was getting six attacks of malaria in a year. That means when you get it, before you recover properly, you are also getting it again. Indoor spraying is the only strategy that can bring down the densities of anopheles mosquitoes. And then you can start controlling malaria. The beauty of IRS is that IRS is like a, a big mosquito net. It protects whoever sleeps in the house that night. Indoor spraying is the application of a young acting insecticide on the walls and roofs of houses, purposely targeting vectors that transmit malaria that tend to stay inside houses. When you spray inside the house, you are reducing the number of infected mosquitoes which are carrying the parasites. You are reducing the contact of the mosquito to human being and you are reducing the density population. Indoor residual spraying is not a mosquito control method, it's a malaria control method. We spray the inner walls inside the roof as well as the eaves, the outside of the house. The WHO approved chemical as a residual effect. It will last for a few months. The rationale of IRS is to knock down the malaria vector, to reduce the malaria vector population. These houses that are sprayed will protect those which are not sprayed indirectly because the mosquito population will keep reducing. At the end of the day, those few species which will be coming will be parasite free. Whereas we are treating the human beings if they are positive, they go to the health facilities, they get treated, it means you're also reducing the parasites in the body. And at the end of it, the mosquitoes that will keep coming will not have any parasite. Although it will bite, it will not be. It means at the end of the day, we shall also have vectors like in US which are parasite free. And that's where we're driving to. Malaria <laughs> Tida